Well, good morning. Welcome, uh, welcome to our outside shop area. Uh, my name is Dutch Gerald. I'm with the Orlando Plumbers and Pipefitters Local Union 803 United Association. And uh, this is some solar projects. This is a solar project I'd like to share with you all today. Uh, I gave my apprentices some extra credit solar projects about two years ago to get started on. The first one was to be able to cook enough food for an average family of four in one solar cycle with using 100% solar energy. And this is a solar oven that uh, my apprentices came up with. Uh, it's been here for about a year now. Uh, this is a tracking unit. Uh, we got the designs, they actually got the designs uh, on solarcooking.org. Uh, this is a tracking unit. What we're doing here is we're concentrating three suns into the box. This is a piece of glass, layer of glass. We just have a single layer of glass on it. It's actually designed to have two layers, but we just have a single layer of glass on it right now. And one sun comes through the glass. Now, as this, these wings, they're on a 60 degree angle. And as the sun comes here, it hits here, it reflects into it on either side. So we actually are concentrating three suns into the box. Uh, with just one layer of glass, we've hit a temperature of 278 degrees. And if we put another layer of grass, glass on it, we could easily get well over 300 degrees. Uh, if you, I don't know if you can see it inside, but there's a black pot inside. I put two gallons of water in it this morning when I just started the unit. Uh, we just, I just got the unit set up and running now. This is the tracking unit here. As the, as the sun moves in the sky, this will automatically track the uh, unit. Let me uh, show you how the, the mechanics work on the back side. Okay, this is the unit. <clears throat> Come around to the back side. Now, it pivots, so this is a, uh, this is a front hub assembly, brake hub assembly, brake drum assembly off of, I think, a 61 Chevy 2. Uh, we've had to do some gearing, some reduction gearing on it. Comes over here, let me show you the, uh, this is uh, our electric motor. This is a 120 volt motor with some gear reductions and uh, the, the motor, it, we could easily put it on a photovoltaic system with batteries. Uh, this uses very little power to actually use, make the unit work. Uh, this is uh, some of the control systems on it. Uh, the apprentices did a pretty good job. I mean, we could probably condense a lot of this down, but I think they did a good job. Okay. Uh, the back of the unit, this is the door. Uh, you pull the door off. Uh, there's a thermometer. Like I say, we just got this running. I don't know. It's uh, 150 degrees now. And I put two gallons of water inside. And the water temperature was 78 and we're up to 83 so we'll see where that goes in a couple hours uh, let me come around and I'll show you the front of it again uh, there you can see let me zero in a little bit there's our uh, black pot uh, stainless steel pot we painted with uh, black matte paint but this is our solar oven. Uh, this uh, I've, we've cooked in it several times here, and uh, this will actually probably cook. This this will cook a lot of food, uh, more than enough for a family of four. Uh, and in Florida, with uh, hurricanes, a uh, solar oven in the backyard is not a bad idea. Now, a lot of people don't like them because they're they're ugly. Yeah, I'll go along with that. This is not the most beautiful piece of art I've ever seen, but it's functional and it works well. And uh, the energy is free and does not pollute. Uh, we have some other solar projects. Uh, we'll make another video work on those another a little bit later. But if anybody's interested in uh, excellent training, uh, we are always looking for good apprentices. Uh, requirements got to be at least 18 years of age. Uh, Prove that with a driver's license or birth certificate. Uh, need to get copies of high school transcripts or GED scores. And uh, then you have to fill out an application to stand for an interview. If you're accepted into the program, these are just extra credit projects. We really work on a lot of stuff that's a lot more interesting, a lot more important than these. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.